Hey, what's going on guys, Sex here, and today we're taking a look at Bane from the DC Collectibles New Batman Adventures line. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the stand, which all of them come with, so you can see that you get a couple of pictures of him there, and the other two pieces here. Uh, then he comes with four sets of hands, so no other accessories, so I'm not really sure why he comes with so many hands. Uh, so you get the fist that he does come equipped with and package. You get this set of hands, which is kind of like a little grappling set of hands, if I can get him the stand up street uh so uh yeah the little grappling set of hands which uh look pretty cool i can definitely see why you would get these uh so you can do some pretty cool poses um the other thing is with these they would normally go left to right but because they are much larger uh you can see that it uses this whole wrist section here and it actually folds from the inside of the glove uh, if you can kind of see that there so they will bend outside but they won't go in uh, just because of where the thumb is located and because it's so thick. So um, that's just one little issue on this. But it will be able to still rotate in his hand. Uh, the other set of hands that you get is these to where it looks like you'd be able to put something in there. So I don't know if you're supposed to kind of come up with your own accessory um, or put like the end of it like a popsicle stick in there and act like it's a 2 by 4 or something. I, I don't know. But it doesn't come with any accessories. So... Why does he need to grip anything? I'm not sure. So uh, he does come with those. Whatever, dude. Keeps on falling over. And then these hands, which are kind of puzzling as well. So it looks like this is where you put a battering, but um, I don't know why he would have that. So I'm not really sure why he comes with these hands. But again, the same thing where they don't go in because of the thumb, but they can go out some. All right, and before we take a look at the figure and we cover some of the stuff with him, I did want to do a couple of comparisons with him. Just to make sure I get the feet done. The other big villain is going to be Killer Croc, and Killer Croc's just a little bit taller than Bane, but as far as width goes, they're still pretty big. Uh, then we bring in Batman, which is a taller guy, and you can see that they both tower over Batman. So I just wanted to do a couple of comparisons for you guys. All right, so taking a look at Bane, uh, the first thing I wanted to take a look at is the face, which is that's where you're going to get the most paint. So you, you can see those red eyes, also the gray going around uh, the rest of his mask, also the little spike collar here, which is very nicely done with all the paint looks in the lines. There's nothing to where it's like gray paint going throughout the collar and just not on the spike. So. Very clean. You can see some gray back here and also the rest of here. You can see with the teeth where they're white, but you can see that little thin black line going through there to kind of divide it up. And it's not completely straight. It's kind of crooked. to makes it look like he's kind of like growling at you, So, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, some more paint that you get here at the buckle. This is just kind of a soft rubbery plastic where it's just glued to the waist there. But you can see the black thin lines. Everything looks nice and clean. So there's no mess ups there. Uh, the same with the wrist. You can see these spikes. And because this is intended for a adult uh, collector, uh, these spikes, they are not soft rubbery plastic. They are actually very hard. So uh, not to where I think that you'd poke yourself and draw blood, but they just, you know, they're hard. They, they, they would hurt if you just kept on pressing your finger up against it. Uh, then you get some more paint here. Uh, you can see the little red buttons. You see some black on the inside. And just more gray paint. Uh, then you get some gray paint going around here at the legs. Uh, the last little bit that I wanted to point out, this little piece that you see just kind of going back and forth. This, it feels like it's kind of like foam. Uh, so it's, it's very thin and it, I think it's very delicate. So uh, you just want to watch how you bend this because it's connected to the arm here and the head. Now they, they give you quite a bit of slack here as you can kind of see. So you could, you know, lift the arm up all the way like so and uh, you still have a little bit of slack there but that's something that, you know, I just kind of, you know, keep my eyes out on. Um, hey, you, you're going, you're an adult collector so you're going to end up putting them in a post and you're going to leave it there. So uh, it's something that you probably don't have to worry about unless you let your kids, you know, play with these things and that's something that they'll probably end up breaking on the very first try. Uh, but as far as articulation goes, the head goes back and forth. Just make sure this is focused, but the head, you know, back and forth, that uh, does rotate, as you can kind of see there. And the arms go in and out. They rotate. The elbow, it can bend a little bit. 
but not really a whole lot just because of how thick the muscles are. Uh, the wrists, they rotate here. They can bend out with the fist, but they can't bend in, uh, just like what we've already pointed out with the thumb issue. With the chest, as far as rotation, uh, it gives you a little bit, but not too much just because of, uh, you know, how thin he is across here and how wide it is here. So uh, there wouldn't be, he'd be, you know, turning onto himself there. And then it does go front and back quite a bit, as you can see there. The legs forward quite a bit, back uh, quite a bit. They go in and out. Uh, the knees, they don't get quite 90 degrees. Uh, the boots do rotate here at the top of, I guess, the sock, if you want to call it that. And then the feet go front and back and side to side. Again, because he's so top heavy, it's kind of like Killer Croc to where, uh, you know, the ankles get worn out a little bit, but it's not as bad as Killer Croc. It's just getting them in a position because of the weight distribution, getting the pose that you want, putting the hands that you want, and then just kind of leave them alone. I think that he'd be fine. So uh, anyways, there's a look at Bane uh, from the new Batman Adventures. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.